Today we're going to have a look at how to disassemble ball lock style keg disconnects. This is a really quick and simple task and these need a good clean from time to time whether they've just been exposed to general use or maybe they've become plugged up from dry hopping without a hog basket etc. You can follow this procedure whether a disconnect's been removed from your kegerator or even if it's still attached to the beer lines. So we've got black disconnects and we've got white ones. Black of liquid and white of a gas. Inside they're essentially the same but the black and white ones have different bodies so they can't be placed over the wrong posts. Some of the things we'll need are going to be cleaning brushes, food grade grease, a large flathead screwdriver, a cloth, some keg and line cleaner and some sanitizer. So this is your basic disconnect. We're just going to insert our large flathead screwdriver into this slot on the top and then we're going to turn anti-clockwise to release the cap. Then the cap lifts out. This time the entire assembly has come with it. But sometimes that assembly may stick inside and may need to be shaken out of the body. There are three parts here, the plunger, the spring and the cap. And of course we've got the body or housing. Now we're just going to take all of our parts and put them in some keg and line cleaner. Then we're going to give them a good scrub with our brushes. Make sure they're nice and sparkling clean. Make sure you clean all of the parts and check the condition of the seals while you're at it. If the seals are degraded, you can replace them, but it's often just as cheap to buy a new disconnect. Then you can throw this one in the cupboard for spare parts. After the parts have had a good soak, you can take them out and place them neatly on a towel. Now we can put our keg and line cleaner to a side and grab our sanitizer. Throw all the parts in there and then just let them sit for a few minutes. Now we can take all of our parts out and place them on a towel. dry them off. Once this is done, we can start reassembling. First we'll take our plunger and we'll put a smear of food grade grease around the seal. around the seal on the cap. Next, we take our plunger and drop it seal side down into the body of the disconnect. Then drop the spring over the shaft of the plunger. 
and now we can install the cap, taking care to line up the centre boss with the inside of the plunger spring. Now take your screwdriver and tighten the cap. And that's all there is to it. So in summary, we unscrew the cap, remove the spring and plunger, clean thoroughly with keg and line cleaner, neutralise the cleaner and sanitise, reassemble. Two, five, nine, ten. Two, five, nine, ten. That's a lot of bricks.